Hey y'all, this is Marley K. Hope y'all are well. Got a story that I want to share with you, and it's really important because it's tied to the National Sunday Law. And um, we're getting closer to either a national climate emergency, a national emergency period, or it could possibly be where states... Um, replicate this lawsuit to get the same results. So I'm sure this probably is going to go all the way up to the Supreme Court, but it sets a precedence in states. And it is just, again, um, one step closer to the national Sunday law. So this says Montana judge sides with youth, youth activists in landmark climate change case. The ruling in the first of its kind trial in the U.S. that establishes a government duty to protect citizens from climate change. How are you going to protect people from judgment? Now, you can protect people from a man-made thing like climate change because that is, as you can see, a cataclysm of man-made events. But now we're in the phase of judgment. I don't even really, I'm not gonna even get into climate change. I'm gonna just tell you what this thing says in my, my business. I wish this thing stops popping up. <clears throat> okay, it says a Montana judge has sided with youth activists who argued that state agencies' use of fossil fuels and its impact on the environment violated their constitutional rights. So, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, just this particular group of people. Funny also how you never heard of this challenge, never heard anything about it. The fact that it happened in Montana in the middle of nowhere, um, and then it involves fossil fuels, the thing that they want to take away from us. That's why they want to get rid of all your gas stoves. They want everybody to have electric vehicles. They want you to have electric um, uh, yard tools and power tools, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, solar this, solar that. Yeah. District Court Judge Kathy Seeley found the state's policy used to evaluate requests for fossil fuel permits is unconstitutional because it does not force agencies to evaluate the effects of greenhouse gas emissions. Y'all, this has all the markings of the United Nations' sustainable development goals. All the language is here. Judge Seeley wrote that Montana's emissions and climate change have proven to be a substantial factor in causing climate impacts to Montana's environment and harm and injury to youth. Really? So you see, look at, look at the people in these pictures. Just look. All right. The first in the, f I'm sorry, the ruling in the first of its kind trial in the U.S. establishing a government duty to protect citizens from climate change. It's still up to the legislature to determine how to bring the policy into compliance, a steep hurdle for a fossil fuel friendly state where Republicans dominate. So you remember I was telling y'all when I was telling you about the uh, different smart city agendas, how they were going to be working through local and state policies and legislators with politicians. Well, this is just another example. This is how you're going to get a national Sunday law 
and again, a lot of these states already have blue laws or Sunday laws on the books. But if Papa declares a national emergency or a climate emergency, he can do it nationally. Now, I don't know whether states would have to adhere to it. That would be interesting. But we are on our way. We are well into the throes of getting ready to be having to make a choice about Sabbath or Sunday. Eco-Sabbath and a day of rest and these fossil fuels and all this stuff is tied together. Everything is tied together. So don't get it twisted. It is all important. While it is a data point, it is a huge piece of data that you need to pay attention to. And you also need to check your state legislatures to see if you have similar bills or if there are similar um, petitions to state Supreme Courts to rule on these things. Julia Olson, an attorney representing the youth and executive director of Our Children's Trust, called the ruling a huge win for Montana, for youth, for democracy, and for our climate. As fires rage in the West, fueled by fossil fuel pollution, get out of here. Y'all hear this? Today's ruling in Montana is a game changer that marks a turning point in the generation's effort, efforts to save the planet from the devastating effects of human-caused climate chaos. Boom. I always go to the end of the story first and it'll tell you exactly what you need to know. What she just said is everything that I've been telling y'all all year long. They want to get rid of fossil fuels. They got climate chaos. Got to bring order out of chaos. Um, you need to save the planet, which is, you know, the, the climate agenda. You got the sustainable development goals language up and through this. Emily Flower, a spokesperson for Montana Attorney General Austin Knudsen, said the ruling, called the ruling absurd and said the office planned to appeal. She said the ruling was not surprising from a judge who let the plaintiff's attorney put a, on a week-long taxpayer-funded publicity stunt that was supposed to be a trial. Attorneys for the 16 plaintiffs, none of whom were over the age of 22, which is suspicious to me. Why is it that these young people have had this case and like nobody's talked about it until today? But this is, this is something that people should be paying attention to, those who are awakened but don't really know. It says presented evidence during the two-week trial in June that increasing carbon dioxide emissions, there we go, carbon emissions, are driving harder temperatures. No, not, not the fires that they set intentionally, but okay. As well as more drought and wildfires. Those changes are harming the young people's physical and mental health, according to experts brought in by the plaintiffs. But they can't do nothing about racism, though. Okay, our children dying from just being born, you can be conceived, and you got a 50-50 shot of making it because doctors are racist or because your health care provider don't give a crap about you. I, I just, I'm, I'm undone, but this is Babylon, and you know what happens in Babylon. The state argued that even in Montana, completely even if Montana completely stopped producing CO2, it would have no effect on a global scale because states and countries around the world contribute to the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. That's the most common sense thing that's in the whole piece. Everything else is a bunch of doo doo. So, anyway, this man, I'm sick of him popping uh, up. Across the country. Just keep making him pop up. So, anyway. I wanted to share this. Look at these. Look at these people again. Look at the pasty people. Look at them. It's not us doing this stuff. But understand, 
we are really close to having a, a climate emergency declared and we're really close to government being able to say you have to have an eco sabbath you have to have an eco day of rest to let the earth rest in order to preserve whatever they want to say so they've accomplished a lot in year one of this new world order you got seven years continue to prep continue to pray continue to seek the most high continue to print i'm sorry repent continue to cry out Keep your brothers and sisters across the diaspora lifted up. Pray for true Israel because we are all getting ready to go through it. These alien snow beasts getting ready to do it to us. And, you know, it's a, it's a battle right now between good and evil. We have to endure to the end. You got to prepare for natural emergencies. You got to prepare for natural disasters. You got to prepare for famine, pestilences and plagues, aliens, spaceships. It's just unbelievable. I understand why people are checking out, but I also don't understand why people are not paying attention. So for your watchmen, y'all stay encouraged. Love y'all so much. Um, I know it's, a, it's not a lot of us who are awakened and who are paying attention and who are able to keep up with all the present day truth, but do it anyway. We are called to do this. We can do this. We can do all things through our Messiah. It's going to be tough, but we can do it. Um, let us be encouraged to pray together, stand together because the hour is coming where we're not going to be able to communicate. I won't be able to share information with you. A lot of this information that's on the news now and on social media and us having conversations about different things, our areas that the Most High gifted us to um, watch we're not going to be able to communicate together. And so we're going to have to be fortified and know how to fortify ourselves during the, the seasons where we have to be quiet or where we're silenced. So get what you can, learn what you can, prepare while you can, and understand next week is a big week. And, what, and after next week, a lot of things probably going to go downhill after that. So make sure you are prepping, praying, repenting, crying out, doing inter inter interceding for your brothers and sisters uh, all over the world, scattered. Pray for this awakening that brothers and sisters wake up. Pray that we have protection at all times as we come and as we go. Pray for our minds, pray for our bodies, that we keep our, our mental health and our physical health. Pray that no matter what we don't have, the Most High makes a way for all of us. And most importantly, pray against these strong delusions because we are being bombarded. It is intentional and only the strong minded are going to be able to really decipher what's going on so move with intention don't waste your time because we don't have much time that was coming where it's going to be dark and you're going to have shut up in your house and you cannot go outside so do what you can while there's still light do what you can while your money is still good while you, you're still free to move and make every day count because these people are trying to kill us. Make no mistake about it. It's slow, it is gradual, but it is intentional. 
All right, please like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Also, consider subscribing to my social media platforms as well as my um, other Odyssey channel and Rumble channel in case this channel is shut down. The links are in the description. Pray, people. We need all the prayers we can get. Pray for each other and intercede for your brothers and sisters because we are all exhausted. I know I am literally just, I can't believe I'm looking at all this stuff happening, but it's happening right before our eyes. So make sure you are getting your rest, taking it easy, taking some time away, and don't stay gone too long because too many things are happening out here. And I feel like a big old Fast Freddy is getting ready to happen. Um, a big celebration time is coming up for the Hebrews next month. And so, you know, these people, they believe in... Um, countering anything that has to do with us observing our feast days that the Most High commanded us to observe. So in September, I expect things to amp up. I expect things to amp up after this BRICS announcement. If they announce, the world announces that they're ditching a dollar, all hell's going to break loose overnight. People are going to be running to the stores trying to buy stuff. Inflation is going to hit. We're going to have hyperinflation. And it's going to be a lot of violence because people are going to be mad. They're not going to be able to deal with the fact they're not going to have any money. You see all these banks secretly failing and they've been testing these banks and these banks are about to fail. Big banks like PNC and Huntington Bank, and I forgot the other bank. But anyway, a lot of stuff has been happening. There's something in the news about J.P. Chase Morgan not being able to pay back $3 trillion they got from the government. A lot of stuff is happening, people. You got to be ready. There's no such thing. You just, is you going to be able to make it till 2030? Nah. That book that I've been reading by Ted Koppel basically said most people ain't going to make it the first year. One in 10 people will survive the first year. Some people will not make it the first 90 days. If we have a grid down situation, if there's some alien, in <laughs> alleged alien invasion and they got to shoot them out of the sky because that's what they want. They want want it to be war everywhere so that y'all can be so tired that y'all will be begging for the, for the government to do something. And then whatever it is they do, you're stuck like Chuck. We got a lot of things that we got to consider. We have a lot of issues that we got to deal with and we got a little bit of time to do it all. Make the most of your time. Witness when you can. Love while you can. Talk to your family members. Tell them you love them. Call your friends. Talk to them. Even if you don't talk about, you know, this stuff that we're talking about. Let people know you care about them. Let people know you love them. Let people know that, you know, they mattered. Because you don't know who's going to be here next month. You don't know who's going to be here over the next six months. All we know is what we know today. And we cannot take for granted that people are going to be here, you know, over the next year, over the next couple of weeks. Um, and even for us, we, we don't know what's going to happen. So do what you can. Prep. Pray. Seek the most high and let us try to endure to the end. All right, y'all. This is Marley Kay, uh, so and I, I am out. Country, it's very hot.
Uh, is this the worst? Are we in a climate emergency? Do we need to spend another $5 million on climate subsidies?